I'd like to take this opportunity to welcome you to the London Street Photography Festival. We're an international photography festival launching for the first time in the City of London throughout July. The programme takes place at some of London's finest venues, including the National Portrait Gallery, the V&A, the British Library, St Pancras International and the German Gymnasium. I think it's important to have a street photography festival in London because it affirms the, um, the process, the, the genre in a way as well, but also I think it gives lots of potential what could be seen as amateur photographers feel like they're a part of a community. Oftentimes people don't discuss the subject in different ways or don't really know how to approach it, but to have something across the city opens it up, but also kind of tells other cities that um, London's taking it seriously and appreciating it as well. We live in an era of a lot of airbrushed imagery and advertising and street photography may not be news in the obvious sense but it shines uh, a sometimes harsh, sometimes generous light on the society that we're making for ourselves and that's its great value. The excitement of street photography is about its unpredictability. In its purest tradition you can never know what you're going to come across. You know, when you do the street photography, there is no proof necessarily. You know, you're looking, you're trying to capture this one specific moment. Issues around security, um, terrorism acts, and privacy laws have created, in recent years, sort of problems for sort of the, the casual photographer. I mean, there are restrictions on what we can and can't do. And in fact, it's been a really thriving time for street photography in spite of, perhaps, or in some ways possibly because of a threat to the genre, those people who are committed to going out every day on the street, documenting our public life, holding up a mirror to ourselves of the kind of society we're making, aren't going to be deterred by unreasonable efforts to curtail their freedoms. Some incredibly talented people are still working, well, are working here in London and have been over the last number of years, but they haven't always necessarily got the sort of same international recognition that sort of bigger, more historically sort of placed figures have. So now is a good time as any to actually start putting that situation right. Street photography has the capacity to really cut through to some essential part of the human condition because it is unplanned, because it is spontaneous, because it isn't art directed, because it isn't driven by some kind of theoretical agenda. Every single day, you know that I'm feeling this way.